It's Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. I'm not thirsty, but I need this glass of wine so bad. And I know that it looks like it's too full, but if you're only going to have one glass, you better fill it up. <laughs> I'm going to unbox this today. I have not, um, you know, showcased a lot of the Scentsy Buddies for you guys. I'm not really into stuffed animals. My nine-year-old really loves stuffed animals. So during the last holiday flash sale, I bought three, I think. I gave him two. No, I bought four or five. I gave him two. And then I gave my best friend's son one. I gave her new little baby daughter one. I still have one up there. He's Perry the Poodle. And I have that for just in case if I need to give somebody a gift. But I really wanted to get this one because I think it's really cute. Not that I, like, I'm not into like the cute things, like cutesy things. I'm not into that. But this one looks pretty. Like, as a Scentsy consultant, I feel like I need to have all of these. So basically what it is, it's a stuffed animal. But it's a very well-made stuffed animal. They don't fall apart. They're not cheap. They're not cheesy. Okay? And the cool thing is that the box is, like, decorated all around. If you gave this to a little girl, or even a little boy, um, this could be sort of like their house. Like, this could be, like, the house for the little stuffed animal. And it has scored... Uh, handles at the top so if the kid wanted to like you know walk around with the the home for the um, stuffed animal or whatever you know it's like you know like the how the cabbage patch things used to be which I was never into those either when I was a little girl this is probably not going to surprise anybody I used to get Barbie dolls um, given to me because I had three older brothers I was the only girl in the house and people would give me dolls all the time because they would think that I was like the girly girl, right? And I would like chew all the feet and all the uh, all the hands and all the feet off the Barbies. I can still taste it now. <laughs> I used to chew the hands and the feet. And I would always take the heads off of the Barbies and I would like whip them around by the hair and stuff like that. Like it was not my, my gig. If you gave me a Monopoly set or like Life or Clue, and I didn't even have anybody to play with because my brothers would get like sick of me. I would totally just play with myself. I would play board games with myself. And I would have, I used to have this little table and I used to turn the table if it was my turn or if then it was my turn. And then it was my turn. <laughs> right? Anyway, and cards. I'm kind of a whiz at cards. Solitaire, I could beat myself every time. Anyway. So when you open it, it's like roses on top. This is a very feminine little uh, gift. If you have a little girl in your life, this... she's really cute. Oh my God. She's really cute that she's like nestled in there. Oh, oh my God. You guys know I don't really fake um, excitement easily. Oh, she's so soft. Oh, jump, 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 jump. She's so cute. She's really super soft. And her hands have a magnet. Like her hands go together. And so she can like hug things. And then you can break it apart. Okay? If she's real, she's got a very pretty face. She's really sweet. She, it's very soft here, like uh, velour, not velvet, like velour. And then it's almost like a Berber, like Berber carpeting, but it's not, it's so, it's so soft. Hey, Patricia, how you doing? Um, the, the flower is attached. The flower on her arm is attached and her bow is attached. Sometimes they have things that will come off, like my, my, Son has like a little robot uh, monster guy. He has a little hoodie and his hoodie um, is actually goes up and down. Um, the ends of her feet, of her arms and her feet are corduroy and she's got the Scentsy there. And she's got the Scentsy patch here. All the Scentsy buddies have a little Scentsy patch with the star. If you didn't notice, the star, the star is part of the Scentsy logo. So the back has a zipper and then a, a hole there and you can either put stuff there. You could put, you could, uh, this could be the tooth fairy pillow. 
You could put the tooth in there for the tooth fairy. You could put money in there, but it's really made for scent packs. This is not the scent pack that I ordered. When you order a Scentsy Buddy, they ask you what scent pack you want and you can get any scent pack with it and it comes with it. It's not an extra charge. Um, I didn't get, I, this is not the scent pack. I ordered satin sheets for her, but I ended up um, giving that satin sheets um, scent pack away to somebody else. This is just another one that I pulled out of my drawer. Uh, cedar cider. This one's not really going to go with her. That's not really the scent that's going to go along with her. I could see like um, satin sheets, but even Luna or um, a clothesline might be nice. Something sweet, something kind of floral. I wouldn't put like, you know, um, like Dark Harbor or even coconut lemongrass. It would just be a little too uh, sharp for her. She's really sweet. I don't want to get any makeup on her. Um, not that I'm wearing that much, but she's really, really sweet. I really like her face. I don't know. Maybe I'll start a little scentsy, a little scentsy buddy collection up there. I'm not sure. Anyway, I just thought she was, she's very, she's very cuddly. I'm, I wish she was bigger and then I would use her as a body pillow, honestly, because that's what I do sometimes. My husband and I have been fighting over the body pillows ever since I was pregnant with my first kid. So that's 11 years. It's almost 12 years ago, right? Um, and so every once in a while, I end up with the kids in the bed. And then sometimes the stuffed animals are in the bed. And then I end up sleeping with the stuffed animals. You know, <laughs> you know, in between the knees, you know, to keep the lower back in a neutral position, that kind of thing. Anyway, she's really cute. I think I'm going to put her back into the box. And I'm going to be contemplating if I'm going to save her for myself or not. She is $30. And as with any of the Scentsy Buddies, once they're gone, they're gone. These are all uh, limited edition Scentsy Buddies. So um, Boris the Yeti was last month and he was only on sale for like a week and a half, two weeks, something like that. And he sold out. She's been on sale for, um, today's the 19th, like nine days. I think she went on sale on the 10th of January. She, so she's going to be going. She's going to be going soon. She's very cute. I um, I might keep her for myself. Just the way that they nestled her in here. I love the fact that there's the magnets in the hands. And the way that they nestled her in so that when I opened it up, she was just like, hello, like popping in. See, now I'm not going to be able to get her in there again like that. Um, anyway, that's my, uh, I think there, there might be a hair on her now. Because my hair goes everywhere. Um, yeah, let me, let, let me close this up. So I know, yes, $30, and like I said, for the $30, you also get a scent pack, and you don't have to put the scent pack in there. And then you can re, you know, you can um, put different scent packs in there. How does the scent pouch go in? Yeah, you unzip it, and then you put the scent pouch in, and then you zip it back up again. And then if you wanted to, you could put the Scentsy Buddy into a Ziploc bag overnight. If you wanted to give this gift to somebody and it's already heavily scented, you put the Scentsy you put the scent pack into the Scentsy Buddy, you zip it up, you put the whole Jimmy Jam into a gallon size Ziploc bag and you leave overnight. The next morning, you're gonna open up that bag and it's just gonna be like whoosh. It's gonna be very, very strong, okay? Yes, it's machine washable, yes. And they say that it's for years, uh, three years old and up. Do I have my glasses here? I don't think I have my glasses here. Oh my God, if you could see, you see how small that writing is? <laughs> Um, snuggle up with a soft, scentsy buddy, lovable. I believe she's ages three and up. Product safety. There's no way I can see that. It's way too small. It's way too small. Anyway, I have somebody who has one of these. They used to have a lamb called Lenny. It was the male counterpart to her. She's Sweetie Pie. They sold him about three or four years ago, and she bought one for her son because it was a boy. And she's had to rebuy it like three or four times because he just sleeps with it every single night. And then he, uh, like, he like, brings it to school and makes a mess out of it. Or she's putting that in the washing machine every once in a while. So, anyway, does anybody else have anything? I'm breaking up. I'm not breaking up. You know, I'm still with the tall guy. Is anybody else sipping anything? Am I, am I drinking alone? Again. As usual. <laughs> it's only 351. So <laughs> God. no, it's good. See everybody's being a girl, boy, whatever. <laughs> anyway. Alright, I'm gonna go because I'm I'm super tired. The only reason why
why I'm here today right now is because my mom is doing me the huge favor of driving my kid to hip hop. Thursdays are always really super long days for me because my kid has a hip hop class from 6.30 to 7.30 and it makes Thursday longer than a month. <laughs> At least it feels that way. So anyway. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a happy Thursday. I will probably not do a Friday fragrance and fire water since I'm here today. The warmer of the month for March is a gnome. And I have a completely irrational fear of gnomes. I've had it since I was a child. And um, it's being delivered to my house tomorrow. And I don't know if I can sleep with it in my house. I'm going to uh, film the unboxing of it. And then I'm going to have to put it back into the box. And I'm hoping that I can sleep with it in my house. Um, I might have to put it into my car. And I might have to lock my car. Um, it's that bad. I can watch... Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the middle of the night with no lights on all by myself and I'll be fine. But anything with gnomes scares the ever loving crap out of me. And I can't, maybe this will be therapeutic for me. Maybe it'll be a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's being delivered tomorrow. So maybe I'll unbox it for you guys. I don't know. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.